Hello everyone and welcome back to another James World video. Now I want to start off by saying sorry to the people that have been watching this project series as more of a tutorial type thing instead of more of an entertainment thing. Now um, the last video you saw of me post with Project SXI would have been the preparation of the cylinder head to go back onto the car. Now since that video um, a lot has been done to the car. In fact the car is now finished. Um, it's been about a week or so since I uploaded that video and in that week I've got so much done I kind of got a bit carried away and ended up finishing it completely not filming anything whatsoever Now this is good news to some people bad news to others as I said if you're following this as a step-by-step -step, Big apologies. You're gonna have to look elsewhere for that. Maybe a Haynes manual uh, Maybe someone else's videos, but for those that are watching this as more of the entertainment aspect slash interested to see how this all goes. I got the head on the car, I then went ahead and ordered everything else that I needed, like the exhaust, loads of other bits and pieces like the airbox, service bits, spark plugs, all that sort of stuff. Got the car all together, it now runs sweet, which I will obviously show you in this video. Uh, it runs fine, drives fine, sounds fine, no leaks, no nothing. There's one issue that I had, once the car was all back together, um, I filled the system with coolant and then it and then it started overheating again. Now I started it, it ran for 10 minutes and then got so hot that I had to shut it off. Now I did a bit of research into it, asked some people, didn't get many answers. Now me and my dad had a look at it as well. We spent a good uh, few hours in the evening having a look, trying to figure out uh, what different bits of the cooling system we could check, change uh, and all this stuff. We couldn't, we couldn't for the life of us figure out what um, could possibly be wrong. Now, next day I came out, fresh mind in the morning, uh, came out, completely disassembled the whole cooling system again, uh, stripped it all down, couldn't see anything obvious, water pump was working fine, um, all the passages and pipes were not blocked, heating matrix wasn't blocked, nothing was blocked at all. Now, um, I put it all back together, put the water pump back on, made sure um, there was coolant in there and then I thought back to an old video that I watched from Eric the car guy now Every time he bleeds the coolant system on his cars I've noticed that he holds the car at about two and a half thousand revs hadn't tried it up until now Thought I'd give it a go. Why the heck not? Uh, thought maybe it'd work. Pulled coolant in sat there with my foot on the uh, Accelerator pedal uh, held it at two and a half two and a half three thousand revs um, and all of a sudden uh, I was watching the coolant reservoir to see if I could see any bubbles coming out and all of a sudden this massive fountain just went just completely splurged out obviously there was some trapped air in there massive airlock somewhere in the system um, and given that those extra revs seemed to help get rid of that as soon as that happened all of a sudden I noticed that heat started coming through the vents inside the car all the pipes started getting hot which they weren't before they were cold um, and the whole thing just started working which was a miracle uh, so now the car runs fine no mechanical issues whatsoever, no lights on the dash, no noises, no anything like that, uh, which is awesome. I've got a couple of bits left to do. Um, I've got a couple of cosmetic bits. I kind of want to give it a really good polish because there's some scratches and stuff. Uh, I've got a piece of trim on the passenger side that I want to get. Um, but apart from that, Project SXI is pretty much done. I apologise once more that I didn't film more of the putting together process. I would have liked to. But having been held up by the cylinder head fiasco, taking it like two and a half weeks to get to me, by the time I got it, I just kind of wanted to crack on and get it done. Um, you, got, you guys that do work like this will probably understand what I mean. Um, bear in mind as well that this is my first ever project. Um, so, you know, I make mistakes, I learn from them, and I know next time to do things slightly differently. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let you hear the car. I'm going to start it up. Um, those of you that have followed from the start will know what it sounded like before everything was done um, and you'll now know what it sounds like after. I'll try and put a before and after in this video um, if I remember. So James, remember when you're editing this to put before in there.
So there you go, as you can hear it sounds so much better than it did when we first got the car. Um, that ticking is completely gone now, which is awesome. Um, it sounds like it's just a typical Corsa now. Corsas always have this distinctive, very slight ticking noise uh, from the chain. Uh, it's just one of those things, but it sounds so much better, sounds awesome. So a couple other things I figured I'd show you um, was the exhaust. Now, this car had a generic Corsa C exhaust on it before, um, and what I did was I actually purchased a Corsa SXI exhaust, uh, which is specifically for this car. Um, so I'll show you guys the difference between them. Now, I've got the old one on the floor right in front of me, so I'll show you that one first, and I'll show you the one after. So this is the generic uh, Vauxhall Corsa exhaust. You see the small little tip, like so. That's the old one. This one was actually blowing as well, hence why I've changed it. So this is the new exhaust. As you can see, it uh, looks a lot better from behind. It's got a nice chrome tip on it. Um, I'll get try and get a better. There you go. Looks so much better. It's a little bit more sporty looking. Um, definitely fits the car and looks really good. Um, other than that, there's not really a lot else to show you. Um, um, most of you that have a course of C will know what the engine bay looks like so there's not really much point showing you that um, everything works fine I'm really happy a um, couple more bits to do which I may may not film um, but right now project SXI is done make sure you don't have to unsubscribe though because there's going to be another project coming up so thank you all for watching make sure you like this video if you did enjoy it uh, make sure you leave a comment again my apologies for not filming as much as I would like to have done um, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles um, and I'll see you guys in my next video